The Elite Eight matchups are set here at our virtual bobsledding Olympic Championships. Hello and welcome to our coverage. I'm your host, Clyde Drevsny, taking over for Thomas Fitch, who quite frankly didn't know what he was talking about when it comes to bobsled. Anyways, let's take a look at who's still remaining in this tournament. You still have the top seats, Canada, Russia, and the United States. However, you have lower seats, South Korea, Australia and Italy trying to continue their Cinderella run. Meanwhile, Switzerland and Austria are looking to get back on top despite poor qualifying times. Let's go ahead and get started. And here we go. Number one seed, Canada. Just eight seed, Switzerland. They're off as they head down the track. This should be close. Obviously, Canada, the number one seed. And as we get through that first time check, that is a dead heat. Now, Switzerland had actually the best time of any of, of the sleds in who, who made it past the first round. They were at 128.361. Canada was back in 128.56. So they're going to have to make up some ground. But so far, it is a dead heat as we come to our second time check. And Canada by 16 hundredths of a second taking the lead. A little bobble there for Switzerland. That could be costly as we come down the track. But Switzerland, as we saw in the first round in the Sweet 16 as they come down the track they just continue to build speed continue to build momentum but Canada racing pretty dominantly right now but you know here's the thing with Canada normally they probably wouldn't be facing a team like Switzerland until the final round but because Switzerland qualified so far back in the eighth spot and here they are in the second round in Switzerland making up a little bit of ground now it's 11 hundredths of a second neck and they're quite possibly the closest race we've seen so far Oh, and Canada goes airborne. Unbelievable. They go airborne. We'll see how much that affects this race. But it was neck and neck as we come to our next time check. And Switzerland's taking that lead and Canada goes high. Clearly that bobble had a major effect on their time as they come to the line. It'll be Switzerland in at 128.444. What a run by the Swiss. Canada had it in the bag. But let's take a look at this bobble. Watch as they come up. And they just, they, they came a little too inside on that corner. And that's going to be costly as Switzerland moves on to the final four. With Canada following there to Switzerland, the U.S. now, instead of looking at facing Germany and Canada to try to make it to the championships, now Italy and Switzerland. And the U.S. with a good start time. Italy, you could see they came off a little to the right. And maybe the worst start time we've seen this whole tournament. Italy had one of the best times in the first round, 128-444, a whole tenth of a second better than the United States. But that start could be costly down the track. The United States already has much more speed as we come to time check two. And now two whole tenths of a second. That beginning was costly in Italy, who had been looking so good, a little high there. But, and then Italy's gonna ha is going to catch that low side. At this point, Italy, it, it, I don't know if it's nerves or what, but Italy had such a great chance. They had such a good time in round one. They're going against the United States, who's a good team and qualified well this year, but certainly not sure Canada or France. But now Canada and France out of the tournament, and the United States might be the most dominant team left outside of Switzerland as they've moved to almost four whole tenths of a second. Not great there, though, for the United States. And they're going airborne. Are they going to fall? No that if the United States had fallen Italy could have come back but definitely opens the door back open for the Italians but how much ground can they make up not enough it looks like three tenths of a second still there behind as we come down to the finish line and the United States 427 a really great time saying that they went airborne let's take a look and again same with Canada try to overcorrect steer inside watch this they almost flipped and if they had flipped that would have been it instead. Great driving to be able to get the cart back and then move on to the final four. Next, a battle of the underdogs. 15 seeded South Korea, 10 seeded Australia. We'll see who can get up to the better start. Australia at the fastest start in round one. But South Korea, seven thousandths of a lead. Narrow stop. Great job by both now Australia um, and South Korea. Both uh, middle of the pack as far as uh, qualifying times and South Korea had the slowest time in the first round of anybody who made it to the second round Australia was at 128 
500 as we come to this second time check. And now almost five hundredths of a second South Korea leading. This would be an incredible Cinderella run. I don't think anybody, even South Korea, thought that they could be or have a chance to be in the final four and have a shot at a medal in these games. But so far, they're running a clean race. They have speed. They're playing that speed down as we get to turn seven and into turn eight. But again, as we've seen in the first two runs of the day, it's all going to come down to turn nine. Hit turn eight. And now a whole tenth of a second ahead for South Korea coming into deadly turns nine and ten. And very cleanly done by both, but especially South Korea with the lead. Australia, they're going to need some extra speed down here at the end where they have struggled if they want to have a chance. And now increasing their lead slowly, South Korea, as we come to the line. Could we have a 15th seed in the final four? And we do, 128-444, what a time for the 15th seed. They're on to the next round. Final matchup pits two of the most dominant bobsled powerhouses in the world against each other. Russia and Austria. Russia the second fastest time in round one, but Austria off to the better start. Russia at 06, 816. Not a great start. Austria goes a little high there. And remember, Austria only made it to this round because Ukraine um, flipped the cart in turns nine and ten. But one of the, the most dominant teams in the world, they're going to take every chance they get to come to touch number two. And Russia still cutting into the lead 16 hundredths of a second behind. This is going to be close. Russia has one of the most dominant um, finishing uh, speeds. They have so much weight in the car thanks to the drivers. And so as they get down the track, they continue to build up more speed. But they didn't have a great starting time, so they're going to have to find speed by good driving as we get down this track and head through turns seven and turns eight. Coming upon our third time check. And Austria narrowly in the lead. They had increased it by 15 hundredths of a second, but still really close to the turns nine and 10. And pretty well done by both teams. So it's gonna come down to who can manage these final turns. Both really good, a little wobbly there by Austria. We come into the final time check. And it's close, but Austria's pulling away. Could Austria pull off the 6-3 upset as we come to the line? And they have 128-379, the best time we've seen in this round. And Austria is on to the final four. And there you have it, the final four is set. Only one of the top seeds from each side of the bracket made it, that being the United States. But talk about storyline, Switzerland and Austria powerhouses who qualified lower, still making the final four. Meanwhile, 15 seed South Korea now has a shot at a medal and possibly winning it all. It's going to be incredible. Make sure you stay tuned for the final four coming up short.